Hi, this is Janos, it's Reverb Audio, and uh, again, it's the Audio Club time. So, why I'm calling it Audio Club? Because I feel that my channel is an online audio club. So, when I created it, that was my intention to create an audio club online so that uh, everyone around the world can join in and you feel like uh, you are part of a club, part of a, a fellowship, a friendship of like-minded uh, experimenters who, who, who love listening to music and, and it's, we are here for, for the company and, uh, and the adventure. So we, we share an adventure and why not walk on that path together sharing or experiences. So basically my channel is a forum to share my experiences with you and, uh, and I think I am uh, becoming more <laughs> successful at it because uh, uh, as I see now uh, there is more and more of you starting your own channel. So there's Jürgen. I am mad. That's his channel name. Uh, he, he recently started his channel uh, and it was inspired by his Le Petit loudspeaker build. And, uh, and there's Edward, Edward Brockman, who, who started his channel that was inspired by his voice of Lancelot loudspeaker build. So now we have two <laughs> loudspeaker channels. And it's not just loudspeaker because Edward also talks about his uh, system in addition. And, uh, and Jürgen, he talks about his system too. So uh, there is a really excellent video about his old Chan 845 amplifier. Uh, if you haven't seen it, please watch it. And, uh, and why am I showing this to you is, uh, is to say proudly that our online audio club is growing. And, and if you really love uh, my channel, you are watching uh, my story, my journey, then I really rec recommend if you have not found them yet, uh, look at Jürgen's stories. Uh, he actually, he has two channels. So, so one of his channels is in English language and the other is in German language. So if your language is German, then uh, he also shares everything in German. And uh, when he posts a video, he makes them in two languages. So you can choose. So the channel I am mad, that's the English language, and I am written together mad, that's the German language. And, uh, and, and we just noticed something really mind-blowing with Jürgen is that his, uh, uh, the past couple of weeks, his uh, English language channel, the videos are hardly getting any views. It's just ridiculous. And his German language channel is blowing up. It's just like insane view counts on his videos. What's going on? And uh, I think Jürgen, what is going on is that uh, there is a huge difference in the mindset of, uh, of European uh, audiophiles and American audiophiles. And, uh, and in, in the US, our, our culture is really like uh, when you look at monster trucks and you know like uh, buying guns shooting things up loud things and you know getting a bigger tv than your neighbor a bigger truck than your neighbor how when you look at two cars how can you tell which is the american car very simple the one that's the bigger and that uh, guzzles up more gasoline that's the american car you, you look at uh, any other electronic product, how do you know it was made in Europe or made in the United States? If it was made in Europe, it's probably half the size and, and, and it wastes 10 times less material during its production. And, uh, and sadly, this mentality is also present in our audio habits, which is we want uh, loudspeakers that require amplifiers that require thousands of watts to drive them and that gets all the attention and of course there's a layer of people who, who don't uh, sit on that train but uh, the attention is going to be uh, on, the, on the number of watts when you scale something up or, or nowadays for loudspeakers all the attention is on those loudspeakers which are 
more current hungry. So if a company comes up with a loudspeaker that's a 2 ohm load, it's going to get 10 times bigger attention or even more than a company that comes up with a proper 8 ohm speaker. And if a company comes up with a 16 ohm loudspeaker, then no attention whatsoever at all, zero. Uh, so, so as, as Jürgen's channel is about the Le Petit experience, that is a, a small loudspeaker and it just does not compute with the American mindset of uh, bigger is better. So, so we, we have been brainwashed by our society, by our uh, daily values that you have to be big like the Titanic. And just uh, there's a lesson there that people should learn that uh, titanic size objects uh, may, might not uh, be the most practical and might not be the most beneficial for you subjectively. They are going to get by far the biggest news coverage, yes. So if you want hype, if you want news, then you better build the biggest, baddest thing you can imagine. But uh, if you want something that's uh, achievable, that's affordable, then uh, the Lepeti is something like that. And I, it is just totally mind-blowing how big of a resistance it gets in the United States and in the English language speaking world. It's, um, yeah, it, it's something. So that's what we are doing with Jürgen is to, to just slowly get it into people's minds that, uh, that the small size driver doesn't mean that uh, you lack confidence. <laughs> it, it has nothing to do with that. Guys, you know, just man up and, and don't be ashamed to look for uh, small drivers. And, uh, and, and you know, there's uh, like every second comment I'm getting is for people asking for affordable designs. Uh, there's nothing as affordable as the Le Petit. It's just uh, crazy. And now, of course, you would say that you could buy like uh, for $50 something made in China that has active amplification in it. But that's not the category, not the type of equipment I'm thinking about. For that, you don't need an audio channel. Just uh, look up Best Buy and the cheapest stuff they carry and just buy it. No need to browse channels for that buy something for as cheap as you can and, and just be happy with it. You can be. I'm not, ju not here to judge. Uh, and, and I'm not saying that that, that must sound bad or, or you cannot have joy with it. Yes, of course. Once you, you get your mind to it, you can have joy with whatever you like. Uh, but what I am doing here with this channel is to bring you uh, an experience that follows the path of inspiration. That uh, so I don't want to be at the best speaker in the world, and uh, and I think as as a as a big mm, slap from the in universe as a, a form of irony, I came up with the voice of Lancelot, and so far I think. Uh, uh, Probably, I, if I would say that, probably there's many of peop, those who hear it, they would say that that's the best speaker they ever heard. But uh, that's, that was not my goal when I built it. Uh, um, my goal with designing speakers, coming up with ideas, is to give inspiration. And uh, uh, inspiration to you to just be open to, you know, take matters into your own hand and uh, go after what you love. And, uh, and why I am doing these designs that I'm doing and why I'm spending so much time on videos about active cabinets, about these single drivers, uh, is that uh, because they offer a sound that is vastly different from the mainstream sound. And, uh, and I'm saying that because there's so many, so many people who are just utterly dissatisfied with the mainstream sound. And for you, this is your ticket out to start thinking along those lines. 
And, and yes, of course, every kind of technology has its limitations. There is as plus and minus and is just infinitely complex. And that's why I have to just, you know, like yap away for hundreds of hours. I have 900 bloody videos on YouTube already. Be and, and I still could not go around this subject because there is no single answer, because there is infinite diversity, infinite combinations to put together. And I'm trying to lay down the groundworks here to give you guys ideas. And it's very important that everyone, it's clear for everyone that I'm giving ideas. I am not providing uh, chewed packages. Uh, like to, to spoon feed you or anyone. I'm not spoon feeding anyone. What I'm providing is ideas and uh, where you need a lot of homework to do for yourself, a lot of legwork. And sometimes um, there, there's not much needed. And even if you just take my ideas, you might be happy with it, might be really, really happy. I'm getting like just overwhelmingly fantastic phenomenal feedback from those of you who who tried things that i'm suggesting and it's just like oh my god daily i have emails like that and comments it's it's really heartwarming and really touching uh, but what i want to know is that uh, even when you have these epiphanies that you get when you when you do stuff that i recommend if you don't just do it to a single component but you keep on uh, building uh, up your path, your, your way of thinking, like opening up your mind and, and forming a concept and arranging your system with that concept, then, then there's no limit to, to the progression. And, uh, and the progression won't be towards a, a canned, like in a box, best sound, because that there's no such thing as best sound. Uh, and I, I am utterly uninterested in, in building anything that sounds the best in the world because you put, even if you just put two person to listen to something, they're going to have different ideas, different impressions on anything. So, um, and if, if there's like three or four, the, uh, there, n you won't have a single uh, instance where all, all of those will agree on something. So that's why. I have to give you guys tons of ideas so you can pick whatever works for you. Yeah, so I think that's my message for today that take my channel as a source of ideas, as a source of uh, online source of information and just be open to ideas. Even, even in the cases like in Jurgen's case, he built the Le Petit, which is a single driver loudspeaker and and many of you have heard single driver loudspeakers and were just utterly disappointed with them. And I agree because uh, those few commercial single drivers I heard, they were abysmal. It is just catastrophic. I'm just, you know, like tearing my eyes out and, and ears, you know, pour hot wax in it or lead. But, uh, but. But if you heard like, like bikes, if you tried riding a bike with flat tires and you say like, shit, I'm not driving bikes anymore back with the car. Like if you think multi-driver speaker like a car and the single driver like a bike, the, the, the most commercial single driver speakers are like bikes with flat tires. Absolutely horrendous experience to drive them, and 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 you are one hundred percent correct to say that I'm not going to touch that crap again. And but that doesn't mean that the, that the bike as a whole is junk because uh, if you want the best acceleration, the most exhilaration in a driving experience, a bike will give you much more than any car or any sports car can give you. So. So the potential is really up to you to release the potential of any kind of technology. And I'm not saying that single driver speakers are the best in the world and that's the only thing to do. I am just saying that that is one way to, to get something that you do not hear in the stores uh, or, or get something 
uh, that's at the at a high level but but the stuff that produces that level of sound are way beyond the reach of you you cannot afford it then the single driver speaker is the way for those of you who are the most strapped for budget and also talking of my experience if you want to get to build in uh, into building loudspeakers my experience my personal experience so take it as such is start with building single driver speakers and if you say no it's crap i tried it it doesn't work then i tell you that please go back try it again because if if you can't build a proper sounding single driver your chances to 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 really uh, explore multi-driver speakers are minimal next to minimal and 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 if you want really good two-way or three-way loudspeaker first you must master a single driver technology and then you can go up and step it up to your three-way design or two-way or whatever and um, why because with single driver speaker the only thing you are working with is the cabinet and the driver and for you those of you guys i see typing oh i use open baffle i don't have cabinet no <laughs> you still have the uh, panel resonating and it con like the panel where you mount your open baffle is going to impact the sound tremendously tremendously and i dare say it's going to a, an open baffle panel is going to impact the sound more than the void pipe cabinet impacts the sound so yes panels resonate and because the open baffles have a giant panel surface they contribute a lot to the resonance pattern or, and to the character to the tone of the driver and the answer is not to deaden the panel that doesn't work like that it's going to resonate anyway doesn't matter what you do laws of physics is that whenever a, a surface has sound waves hitting it it's going to resonate when we dampen it it doesn't mean we kill the resonances it means we shift the resonance spectra and the more we shift the resonance spectra the more we delay the release of energy so when you have a panel that that resonates but it's it, it's uncontrolled then it's going to set up resonances when you, you it's hit by a reflection and it's going to smear time domain energy domain everything it's going to sound really bad and that's why people started doing dead speakers to avoid that uh, long resonance long crap long distortion added to the sound but when you have an active surface but the resonances are properly controlled so it cannot get transferred from one plane of resonance to another plane of resonance so so that the resonances can as they start they right away can release the energy back to the environment that's goal that's key and that's how music instruments work and that's the difference between a, a poor music instrument a poor guitar and an excellent guitar that the excellent guitar can uh, release the, those resonances very fast and it's not storing it not warping around not distorting those resonances so that's why uh, single driver speakers are so powerful because they have a single source doing these distortions to the cabinet and you will be able to hear you need to learn how these resonances sound when you control the cabinet you do things to the cabinet then you will be able to hear what the change did to the cabinet when you have multiple drivers on your cabinet then you do something to the cabinet you don't know how you have changed the resonance patterns because there are multiple drivers and it's also their interaction that counts the distance between the drivers and it's just a whole plethora of additional parameters that when this is guys how science works i'm a research scientist in my life i work in biomedical sciences not audio but for every science methodology methodology from from medicine through physics mathematics when you do an experiment you need to have a limited set of variables the lowest number of variables 
the more variables you introduce into a system, the least amount of uh, conclusions you can get out of it. So that's why I really recommend first get to know what a single driver does, get to know what the cabinet does without any crossover edit. And when you understand, when you can hear, not just measure, measurements are crap. Well, they, they have their use. But if you don't train your ears and you cannot relate measurements to how it sounds and what it does to the sound, then those measurements are totally worthless. The only worth is reproducibility. So when you build a crappy loudspeaker, you can build another exact same crappy loudspeaker, maybe a thousand more. So, uh, or if you build a great loudspeaker, you can build an, a thousand more like that. But if you cannot, do not have the hearing to relate the measurements to actual sound, how it sounds, you won't, will not be able to build a great pair of loudspeakers. That's why I said crappy loudspeakers. It's not a judgment on the music industry. It's not a judgment on anyone's skill. But it's an observation that uh, people who are in the industry consumers, reviewers have made a million times is that those manufacturers who just measure without listening, they make two thumbs down product consistently. Consistently, Maybe they have a one-off uh, success uh, that, that, that has some good sound, but the rest of the product line is just uh, uh, not for music listening. So anyway, I think this becomes, uh, became now a long and winding uh, story. Thank you guys for chugging along and holding out. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.